Hello guys and welcome to episode 10 of season 2 of Victini X Plays Minecraft. Now previous episode, we ran into an issue where our, our alloy smelters was making alloys very slowly, yeah, very slowly. Today we are gonna remedy that by making uh by making uh making oh, what is it called again a double layer capacitor. It's a machine upgrade and it increases energy storage of speed slash range of machines. Now this thing certainly work with well most and their IO machines and generators and it's awesome so first things first we are gonna need some energetic alloys along with basic capacitors and coal powder which I have already prepared and now all we have to do is wait which is actually quite annoying like it's almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, yeah! Okay, so, how to make this? It's two energetic alloys over here, basic capacitors over here, the coal powder over here. Get your double layer capacitor, which you can then smack into the alloy smelter. You can see it increases the max storage of the thing from 100 thousand some flux to two hundred thousand redstone flux and the max usage is now sixty redstone flux per tick instead of twenty as it used to be and it where well, to say that this thing isn't making enough let's just show all these in there and you'll notice that it'll go significantly faster like whoa like it's already nearly done awesome yes sure it is boo a dark steel we also got a stack and a half or so of silicon, I don't know what I'm gonna do with so much silicon. So you already got two dark steel, and this is gonna just be a pretty fast process. Hmm. Okay, Minecraft is lagging like a lot. So I already got three dark steel, and this is not as bad as watching paint dry anymore. Of course, we also have the Octodic capacitor, but that's for another day. We need vibrant alloys, and I really don't think. Well, sure, we could make it if we wanted to, but certainly not for beginners. Or if you're just beginning out, because it's just the end of birth. And that's our 5 dark steel. So that's pretty darn fast. And pretty awesome. Now, you can also scrap the capacitor from over here and just throw it in there. It increases this thing to, well, it's not efficient. Its burn rate is 1.5x, but, well, yeah. Now it has a capacity of 200,000 instead of 100,000. Max input output uh, generating. 4 DR per tick. It's um awesome. However, instead of burn rate 2x, it's burn rate 1.5x. So originally this thing would burn for 3,200 ticks. Now it's just gonna burn for 2,400 ticks. However, it generates more power per tick, so you could say it's fair. Same goes to the sag mail and stuff like that. And yeah, that pretty much covers the double layer capacitor, yes? 
So, hope you like the episode. It's episode 10. And I might. Do something. Let's see what we're gonna do next episode. I think next episode we're gonna work on capacitor bags. Yeah, let's do that because, well, surely we're gonna need some sort of power storage eventually. So let's go with capacitor bags next episode. Until then, goodbye.